Hi, boys and girls, Miss Layman back here for Stink and the World's Worst Super Stinky Sneakers. I finally said it right on the first try. Today we're doing World's Worst Super Stinky Cheater Contest. Uh, let the sniffing begin, said the head judge lady. She handed Stink a clipboard. He took his sniffing very seriously. He walked up and down the rows and rows of torn sneakers, worn sneakers, yucky blucky sneakers. He walked in front of the sneakers and behind the sneakers. Here a sniff, there a sniff, everywhere a sniff sniff. Stink rated each pair on a smelly scale of zero to four. He wrote down notes like, smells like a swamp, and worse than a dead skunk, and triple P-U. All the while, he couldn't help wondering which pair was Sophie's. Hey, I'll give you a tip, Steve the Smeller handed Stink a tissue. Take a whiff of a pair of sneakers, then hold the tissue up to your nose in between sniffs. That way, your sense of smell won't get tired. Thanks, said Stink. Wowee, a professional tip from Professor Smells a Lot himself. Stink puffed up with pride. He sniffed the next pair. What do you smell? Steve asked. Feet, said Stink. He did the tissue trick, then smelled the stinkers again. What else? asked Steve. Dirt, old carpet smell, maybe even moldy cheese. Good for you, said Steve. Moldy cheese. That's exactly what I thought. Stiffs. <laughs> Stink sniffed some more sneakers. He couldn't help thinking that his were still the smelliest. He couldn't help thinking that he could have won the Golden Clothespin Award until he came to smelly sneaker pair number 13, that is. Stink leaned over and took another whiff. His eyes crossed, his nose wrinkled, his tongue curled. Number 13 smelled worse than a barn full of bats, worse than a basement full of rats. Number 13 smelled stinkier than the litter boxes of 10 hundred cats. He sniffed number 13. He sniffed the clean tissue from Steve the Smeller. Then he sniffed pair number 13 again. All the toilet water in the world could not have made his shoes as smelly as these sneakers. Stink E. Moody, judge and junior sniffer, had found a real winner. A way official want to barf gag me with a spoon winner. Jeez Louise, said the lady judge when she came to number 13. Jump back, Jack. I think I'm going to pass out. This one's a humpty of a dumpty, Professor Smeller agreed. Rotten eggs, said the lady judge. Burnt hair, said Steve. Cat pee, said Stink, and dead worms. He's got the nose all right, said the professor. Not many noses would pick up that dead worm smell. Worse than rancid roadkill, said the lady. Worse than C4H9SEH, said Steve. What's that? asked Stink. Skunk spray, Steve told him. Stink cracked up. Stink knew for sure now. These sneakers would be outlawed in outer space. These skunks were a number 10 on a scale of 0 to 4. All the king's horses and all the bad smells could not outsmell the numero uno, all time, world stinkiest sneakers, putrid pair, number 13. Stink wrote down his final score. He turned in his clipboard. All the votes were counted. At last it was time, time to announce the grand prize winner of the all-time world's worst super stinky sneaker contest. Professor Steve stepped up to the microphone. <clears throat> attention! May I have your attention, please? Everybody gathered around. All ears were listening. Not even a dog barked. We are pleased to announce the winners of the 10th annual all-time world's worst super stinky sneaker contest. It was a close call. All sneakers in the contest were truly worthy. Truly smelling. We have two runners up. Number six and number 37. Please step up to the podium. Number six. He said, holding out a red ribbon. These puppies smell worse than dog breath. Congratulations. Now get them out of here. 
Number 37, said Steve, handing over another red ribbon. Your stinkers made a pile of garbage smell sweet. Congratulations! Everybody clapped and cheered. Stink could hardly wait to hear whose sneakers would take the grand prize, the golden clothespin. Now the moment we've been waiting for. There's one pair of sneakers that all three judges gave a top score. Four plus plus plus. The grand prize winner of the golden clothespin award is... Da -da 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 -da, number 13. Who is number 13? Please come up to the judges podium and claim your prize. 13? Did he just say 13? That's me, yelled Sophie of the Elves. She rushed up to the podium. I can't believe it. I really won, she asked. Stink, how'd you know it was me? I didn't, said Stink. Honest. I never smelled those sneakers before in my life. They won fair and square, said Steve. We smelled everything from dead worms to skunks around those sneakers. Way to go, Sophie, said Webster. Step right up here, young lady, said Professor Smeller. For having the world's all-time smelliest sneakers, I award you the trophy of the golden clothespin. One gift certificate for a new pair of sweet-smelling sneakers. And last but not least, one free trip for two to the Odor Munchers Air Freshener Factory. Thank you, said Sophie, holding up her trophy. Tons of people were clapping and yelling, Woohoo! A guy from the newspaper was even snapping pictures. Tell us, said Steve the Smeller, what's your secret, Sophie? What makes your sneakers so smelly? Simple, said Sophie. No socks. And when my parents made me take a bath, I hang my feet over the edge of the tub and don't wash them. Ever. P U said Professional Smeller. Congratulations, young lady. Your shoes will be entered into the Hall of Fumes at the Community Center, where hopefully they can be seen, but not smelled by all. Can I have your autograph, Sophie asked. Sure, said Steve. Me too, said Stink. Can you sign my shoe? Professor Steve smells a lot, signed Stink Smelly Sneaker. From one master sniffer to another, Steve wrote. I'll never, ever wash these shoes now, said Stink. Stinks, stinky facts, sneaker fest. There's a national rotten sneaker contest held every year in Vermont. One year, the winner had a sneaker that caused one judge to gag, one to back away, and one to nearly pass out. Good thing the prize included... A new pair of sneakers. <laughs> Mr. Stinky. After the contest, Sophie, Sophie of the Elves and Webster came back to Stink's house for pizza. Sophie passed the shiny golden clothespin trophy around for everybody to see. Are you sure you're not mad about the contest? Sophie asked Stink. I know how much you wanted to win and get the golden clothespin trophy and everything. That was before, said Stink, before I knew my friend was going to take me to the air freshener factory. Hint, hint, Sophie giggled. And before I got to meet professional smeller in person and be a junior sniffer for a day, he told me I have the nose. What could be better than that? And I got something even smellier than a golden clothespin trophy. What? asked Sophie. Spill it, said Webster. I can't spill it, said Stink. Never, ever, ever, ever. He held out the vial around his neck. In this vial is something even more vile than stinky perfume. Stinkier than C4H9SEH skunk spray. Smelliest of all smells. Stink waved the open vial in front of their nostrils. P.U. Webster ran for the window. Sophie's eyes water. Behold, genuine and for real E. Day corpse flower. Professor Smelly went to Washington, D.C. before coming to judge the contest, and he smelled a real corpse flower named Mr. Stinky, and he got to take scientific samples. In this jar is one drop of super stinky essence of corpse flower. No lie! You mean you're really going to wear that vile vial? asked Webster. Always, said Stink. Now we're going to have to call you Super Stink, said Sophie of the Elves. Then I'll have to call you Sophie of the Smells. 
Hey, no fair, said Webster. You're super stink and she's Sophia the Smells. I want a smelly name too. Hmm, Webster, how about the Smellster? Said Stink. Perfect, said the Smellster. Now, all your friends are smelly, Stink, said Judy. How'd you get the name Stink anyway? Asked Sophia the Smells. Her, said Stink, pointing to Judy. I'll tell it, I'll tell it, Judy said. See, when Stink was a baby, Dad started calling him Peanut. I was jealous because Dad had always called me Peanut. So I tried to think up a new name. Then one day, Dad was changing Stink's dirty diaper. Ooh, said Webster, pinching his nose. If you want to be a master sniffer, you have to be able to smell dirty diapers, said Stink. Professor Steve said so. Okay, Professor smells himself a lot, said Judy. Anyway, it was really stinky, so I started singing the song I learned in preschool. Don't sing it, said Stink, covering his ears. Sing it, said Webster and Sophie. It sounded like old MacDonald had a farm. My little brother smells so bad. Stinky, stinky poo. With a stink, stink here and a stink, stink there. Here stink, there stink, everywhere stink, stink. My little brother smells so bad. Stinky, stinky poo. Sophia the smells and the smellster joined in on the last verse. Sophie sprayed soda on stink from laughing. Webster was clutching his stomach and rolling on the floor. Ever since then, we called him Stinky Poo, said Judy. Then one day it got shortened to just plain Stink, said Stink. And now Super Stink, said Sophie and Webster. Super Stink couldn't help smiling. Today had given him a brand new smellosophy of life. That night, as Stink drifted off to sleep, visions of corpse flowers danced in his head. Rumple stink skin Stink, the nose, moody, way official, junior sniffer, was on his way. And boys and girls, that's the end of Stink and the World's Worst Super Stinky Sneakers. I hope you enjoyed it. And now you'll be able to go take the AR test for it. Good luck and have a wonderful rest of your afternoon.